going to make a bangle. We're going to make a bangle. Metalsmith Carol Ellis helps me pick out a strip of sterling silver. A bracelet is a good beginner's piece. So you straighten it out as, as much as you can with your fingers first. Carol's creations combine jewelry making, art, and meditation, a journey she compares to walking a labyrinth. When you are at the beginning of the labyrinth and you're about to take the journey, you start to um, settle the mind and start to sink your energy down into the ground. I'm going to try to release some of the tensions of this world and stress. And then as you get to the center, it's sort of like you can feel yourself open up into other possibilities. And then on the way out, you're transforming. You know, you're, you have a new perspective. I feel like as an artist that you have to do that too in order to sit down and create artwork. That's how Carol came up with the name Laborato Studio. She opened in downtown Penacook earlier this year, not long after retiring from Kearsarge High School, where she taught fine arts for two decades. In between designing jewelry, Carol's teaching silversmith classes to all ages and levels, including beginners like me. Now that we've straightened out our silver, we file the edges and begin shaping it, trying to get the two ends to meet. And as we prepare to fire up the acetylene torch, hair up, goggles on. We heat the metal, avoiding the seam at first. You see the color changing to a grayish black. And then within seconds of hitting that seam, watch. Just go back and forth over the seam now. There it goes. Oh, Did you wow, see it go? I saw it. Now we need to clean up the metal, remove all that fire scale, and get ready to shape it into a circle. Carol can bang out a bangle in a few hours. Necklaces, much more intricate. I think I spend most of my time on pendants, and I think it's because I can tell more of a story. There's more space. Carol was used to telling stories through watercolor paintings. Her work hangs on walls all over the studio. When she shifted her focus to metalsmithing, she wanted to continue storytelling. I don't want to just make a pair of earrings. I want these earrings to be about, this is how the water moves, you know, or this is how the earth sprouts new growth. Most of her ideas come from nature. These earrings reflect the energy of the ocean water. These are um, an expression of um, the rippling that happens in the vibration of the water and the undercurrents. As an avid sailor, Carol often uses the wind and the sea as themes, as she does here in this geode stone pendant. So this is this little bit of a story of letting go. Other pieces, like this necklace holding a large green stone, capture emotion. This is a story about the seed of compassion. The natural stones come from all over. Carol returned from a recent trip to Arizona with a suitcase full of turquoise. She'll grab a stone and sit down with her sketch pad and conceptualize her next design. She paints the sketch, matching the colors of the stone. It's her time to explore and express herself. And once she's satisfied, she makes a prototype. I'll kind of work through, okay, how big do I want this to be? If I'm going to manipulate the metal by changing the shape of the metal, I'm going to do that, you know, in those you know, metals that are not as expensive as sterling. If it's all good, she starts the piece. Each necklace, earring, bangle, pin, and ring are one of a kind. But first, before Carol even lifts a pencil to sketch, she'll seek clarity and creativity through meditation and breath work. It just releases the um, excess energy or tension in my body, as well as settle my mind so that I'm a little bit clearer. A master of her craft, Carol gets as much joy teaching others as she does creating her own pieces. As my bangle begins to take shape, our excitement grows. It looks like a bangle now. But we're far from finished. Back to the flex shaft to smooth out the seam. There's a little bit of a lip right here. Mm -hmm. And so how we would get that off is we're gonna use some sandpaper and just do some figure eights. 
will give it a nice soft matte finish and polish it up on the buffing wheel. And finally, the last step, using the mandrel to make sure the shape is just right. It's gorgeous. You made your first bangle. I made my first <laughs> bangle. It's gorgeous. Beautiful job. Look at that.